Okay, these are some demonstration boards that I use for teaching things. And I thought I'd just try to put together a quick video for you folks that might help explain some of the things that, that go on. Um, first, I'm just going to illustrate uh, what goes on inside the the flyer engine. This is a little Atlantic chassis that I took apart and everything I took apart I glued on this board so that you could see there's the clip, oops sorry, there's the clip that goes on to this device. There's the spring. We talk about brushes. Those are the brushes that rub against the motor. These are thrust washers that fit on the armature. The armature fits in the fields and all of that bolts into the chassis and there would have been a shaft and a gear but that's missing. These are the bolts that hold the uh, end plate on and that's what's called an open frame motor in that you can see it even when it's assembled like this one. You can just see the motor and turn. Let's watch it turn and sparks fly. It's great. So I, open frame AC. In, in reality this is a general purpose. This is AC or DC. It's a universal. It doesn't matter. But in our case we have AC to the track and AC to the engine and that's how that works. This is our reverse unit. The reverse unit uses a mechanical mechanism with tabs that changes the flow of circuit through the, um, through the brushes. The fields are constant on the outside so they're constantly getting track voltage in one way or another. But we use these little tabs to flip the circuit on these little silver, little bronze pieces. They're called fingers. So we'll say brushes and fingers, this is what we're talking about, and this is what wears out on these engines early on, and this is what you have to clean up or switch. But this rotates with a solenoid in here. The solenoid has a little finger, and it rotates this a quarter turn every time it clicks. In the middle is neutral, there's no current, and then one more click, and you'll get a direction. You click it again, you're back into neutral, you click it again, and now you're going in the opposite direction because the finger is now touching a different little tab on the drum. So this, all this does is gives you stop, start, forward and reverse, reverse unit, and it's mechanical using electromagnet and a rotating drum and fingers to flow current. It goes into the wiring through the spring, through the brush, into the armature and creates a magnetic field that is an opposite field of one of these and it starts to rotate one way or the other and that rotating turns this little screw which rubs on a gear of something very much like that which sits it's here on a wheel and as this rotates and turns that gear the wheel turns and the train moves. So if you have an engine and you take it apart these are this is everything you're gonna see in order to fix the engine typically. Two screws, one screw, and it all comes apart. Three screws, it comes apart. You clean it, check it out. You might put in a new brush, you might put in a new finger, and you put it back together, and it should run. It's simple. That's the AC conventional motor. Now, how that works and looks like, uh, this is a demonstration I'm not going to do, but I will do it later. We plug this into a transformer, and this will show amperage draw, and this will be AC. Nothing gets conditioned, it's AC. I've built this so when you hold this button down, the motor turns. One of our brushes flew out, so I have to get it repaired. But in any case, the idea here is you push the button, and the reverse unit will cycle every time you push the button. So this is the electromagnet that will rotate the drum, that will switch the position of the fingers, changing the flow of current to the armature, thereby direction. I also put little buttons here so you can turn off and on the headlight and the smoke heater. And the idea here was when you hold this down and you turn something off and on, you can see how much energy is being absorbed by the current coming into the engine right into the on off button. So this shows you the amperage draw. Typically it'll be two to four amps on these conventional units and the dual drive alcoves will take four amps easily. Um, and this is this is what how the engine would operate and this is the way you would test it and set it up and operate it. Now what we've been talking about and people asking me about is that AC or DC to the track and what the hell. I just want to make another clarification. This is a DC CAN motor. 
okay? That's different. That's different than the open frame AC. You can see that. Here you can't see anything. It's just a can. And that's why they call them a DC can. We put a little gear on one end and adapt it with a plate and it bolts right onto the engine. And you can see one here that's been adapted and bolted onto the engine. That's how we do it. Now you can run that with track voltage AC. You don't have to change a thing. Use your old blunderbuss transformer, just like you did for this. Hook it up exactly the same, no difference, except when it comes out of the reverse unit, it's AC, and just before it goes to the motor, you introduce a rectifier. Now that's a rectifier. That's a very low voltage, very simple rectifier. It gets warm, so you have to leave it where there's air around it, but what it will do, AC voltage is a cycle like this. The cycles. And what the rectifier does is it clips off one of the positives or one of the negatives so that it just does this. And it does it so fast and there's so much of it that it appears to be a single pulse of direct current. And the other end of it appears to be a single pulse of negative current. So instead of oscillating alternating current, you now have direct current which is actually just split in two. So the output is now direct current and that goes into the AC motor, and the AC motor will run. And the funny thing is, when you reverse positions here, you actually reverse the polarity of the, DC, of the DC coming out, and the motor will rotate in the opposite direction. Oh my God, the reverse will function perfectly with the rectifier in between it and the motor. And the motor will reverse just like the conventional open frame motor reversed. Nothing else needs to change. However, if you get creative or if your reverse unit is icky sticky, well, there is a digital reverse. This is from Lionel. You see those little heater parts, the cooling parts, that converts the AC to DC. It inputs AC, it puts out DC, and it does a reverse. It does everything this thing. Everything this thing does with, without an electromagnet, which is a weight, waste energy, and the rotating drum, which has fingers that can break and wear out, it's all microcircuits inside this contraption, and it will happen silently and instantly. Reverse, high speed, low speed, whatever you need to do for control. Very level, low level. The simplest is like $6 to put in a DC can. DC cans are $30 to $35. $35, $6, you're running. Or $20, a Lionel DC controller. And it does forward and reverse, and it also mimics forward, neutral, reverse, neutral, forward. Okay? $20. Or, this is a version of the electric railroad commander. I don't know what this is, probably a DC commander, doesn't matter. Uh, this is one of the older units. This is good for four amps. This could run a pair of Alco uh, can motors, dual, dual motors. So if you had a, a four digit Alco with can motors, you would use something like this to run it. It would input, that's the antenna. It takes a wireless controller. I'll show you one of those later. It takes the input of track voltage, the same power, exactly the same AC, comes in. The same AC comes in, the same AC comes in, the same AC comes in, the same AC. This guy is different in that it now can not only change it to DC, but it has a lot more of features built into it. It actually can turn the headlights off and on. It has a button for the taillights. It has power controlled for the smoke. Remember how I had trouble fire burning up my smoke? This has a, a, a control, a, a regulator built in so you don't send more than the proper voltage to the smoke heater. And it also has the antenna, so with a, what's called a cab one, you can actually use a remote control, wireless remote control to turn the engine off and on. It can be sitting there silent, you can turn it on, run it around the track, turn it off, never touch the engine. All you have to do is put the transformer on about 10, 12, 14 volts and you can run this with a wireless, just like your TV. It's amazing. Most of the wiring here just goes to the motor. I don't know what was there, it's missing now. Something was there, I don't know what. 
um, it would go to the motor and um, uh, oh to the track that's how you get the track power to this unit so this is track and motor and then this is uh, antenna and then the accessories so this is one of the higher end electric railroads and that's how that works so these are your options if you're if you're can if you're tired or, or your AC or you just want a little smoother a little more reliability this can motor for thirty five dollars comes with an adapter plate bolts right on okay let's move that over ten minutes I'm gonna have to put this on YouTube you guys are killing me okay this is another little test piece I put a button in here inside is a rectifier just like uh, this piece here it's in underneath this can it's in off mode another amp meter so we can see what we're doing this is a very conventional DC can with the adapter plate and on it you can see down in there if you look you can see there's a screw on the end of that shaft now so instead of that skinny little shaft you see there it now has this screw put on it it gets pressed on with glue and when the motor turns it turns the drive gears if I plug this in it would run I'll show you later this is a DC can these are cooling holes and it will turn on and run that. Now, there was a time, some time ago, when uh, American Flyer had DC engines, and I have one. Look at that. Two wires coming in, period. Just two wires coming in, and it runs. The exact same as that, off of that. The same thing that ran this, the same thing that would run all of these. The same exact AC power comes in. Goes through the rectifier in the switch, comes out and goes to this two wire 1948 DC motor. This DC motor has a permanent magnet in it. The permanent magnet is old 1948, 2018, figure it out. I've added on the outside some additional magnets. It's like a turbochargers to give it just a little more juice and it runs a lot smoother too. So this 1948 motor runs just like this motor. This is an open frame DC can, and the difference is these coils, this coil here has a winding that creates a magnet. This has magnets that create a magnet. So it does not use electricity. That's the difference. And that's the difference with this motor. This motor has magnets inside it. This motor has magnets inside it. Okay, so to control them, you put a rectifier in here. This is your forward and your, this is just on off, not forward and reverse. Um, I didn't put forward and reverse on this. I didn't want to spend too much time on it. So this is this is sort of a display of how American Flyer stuff works, where it uh, where it's going, or where it can go. Simply the drive, simply the motor. The only thing I focused on was the motor and a little bit on the various controllers that you can go through. Six bucks, 20 bucks, anywhere from 40 to 140 to 160 dollars, depending on how many features and what else you want, okay? We're not getting into sound boards and puff and chuff and any of that, that's a different story. This is just basic, make the motor run. Okay, it's a highlights. 13 minute video, I hope it's useful, I hope it explains something to you. And that you will finally realize that AC power to the track is what most everybody I know. There's a couple guys on our site that use DC, but that was their choice. And at the time, that was probably the right thing to do for them. That's okay. That's fine. We don't. We use AC. We can use these old things. Although, when you get some delicate electronics, you may want to add a little power conditioner and a little circuit protection or update to a system that has more high-speed digital uh, circuit protection. But in any case, AC will flow into this. AC from him will flow into this, will flow into this, will flow into this, will flow into this. They all run, AC, okay. That's the story, Morning Glory. I'm listening to my Irish music. I'm gonna go up and kiss on my Irish wife. She's not really, she's 99% Lithuanian, but I don't care. Anyway, have a good day.